monkey. It's hard to imagine that almost four years ago, you were just some stranger with a weird Facebook name who was over an hour late to dinner and drank all of our wine. <laughs> What's even harder to imagine now is my life without you in it. Sarah, I could spend hours bragging about how incredible you are. And while I used to think when you were a baby that the reason you woke your mom and I up every night at three in the morning was because there was so much out there in this world that you wanted to discover, I now realize that it is your heart, your passion to assist those less fortunate than us in this world that was your mission from the earliest age. And now that Andrew has found his way to your heart, I will finally admit to you and Andrew that when he asked your mom and I for permission to marry you, it was actually one of the easiest decisions I have ever had to make. I think back to when we first met and how quickly you fit into my Uganda life. The days spent you chatting, the nights spent eating burritos at Little Donkey or playing trivia at Bubbles. Our weekends spent exploring the country and our nights always ending with a Rolex and some Coke Zero. <laughs> our friendship came so effortlessly, like you were someone I had known for years, even though it had only been a few weeks. You see, I never grew up with a sister, so I didn't really know what to expect. But after 12 plus years together, I feel confident that Sarah has earned her title of Sister Face. I may not have lived through the buck tooth butthead face, <laughs> but we've made some pretty amazing memories of our own. In fact, you're exactly the kind of sister I've always imagined having. It's inspiring to see how passionate Sarah and Andrew are in their desire to help the world. To my sister Faith and her gingy man, <laughs> may you stay adventurous, passionate, <laughs> and super pale. <laughs> Cheers. You're my adventure buddy, my dance partner, my favorite ginger, and my very best friend. You accept me, all of me, regardless of my countless flaws and shortcomings. I promise you my loyalty, my respect. I promise to be your advisor, your friend, your family, and your partner every step of the way. From today until the other side, I love you. Dearest Srabs, <laughs> I, I really can't believe that we're standing here today. I've grown to love you more every day, and being together in Colorado has only confirmed that I am making the right decision right here as we stand today. And so, dearest Sarah, on this day, when you look so beautiful, I give you my heart with my sincerest promise that I will journey with you together, bound in hand wherever the path of life may take us, and in this promise, I say I love you. I promise to communicate honestly, to encourage your passions, and to support your dreams, and to love you for your failures, and to laugh at your jokes, whether they are good or bad. And finally, and most importantly in front of the congregation, I promise to always support the Kentucky Wildcats. <laughs> this is my vow to you, my equal partner in all things. In a marriage, you're promising to care about everything. I don't know why, but everything that happens is nicer with you. This ring symbolizes my love for you and the commitments we made today. You are the love of my life for today, tomorrow, and all of my days to come. You're my very best friend. You may now share your first kiss. <laughs>
as husband and wife. Mazel tov. I'm Dan Pfister, and I've known this lovable ginger for over 20 years. It is a pleasure to prosecute Andrew today in front of this large jury. <laughs> but no, ultimately today has shown everybody what they already know about you two. You both have an incredible sense of adventure and an infectious personality that brightens everybody's day. Sarah, may your marriage bring you both as much love and happiness as you bring all of us. <laughs>